What's up, M Effers? You might be wondering why it's dark outside. Well, it's seven in the morning. I've actually been driving three hours so far this morning. Left at 4.07 this morning with your favorite stash man. Apparently he knows how to do some ice fishing. And so I was like, screw it, let's drive six hours away and do a little bit of ice fishing. So welcome to ice fishing season 2018. You might wonder why we're in a parking lot also. It's because we, we made it three hours and, and we gotta go get some supplies for our little two day trip. So we're at the, the Walmart. Um, so first step, Josh, let's walk towards the Walmart because we're going to the Walmart to- Fart. Oh God, that's <laughs> disgusting. So basically what we're doing is we're, we're gonna hit some actually like iconic famous ice fishing lakes up where we are headed um, and we're gonna kind of just pond hop on the way up there we're hoping to do some catch and cooks we're hoping to cook some I don't know badass other stuff on the ice too we got all our cooking contraptions so first step is gonna be stop at the old Walmart I think we went in the out we did uh, yep that says, says out <laughs> I think we can find any Walmart employees to find our ice fishing lures blindfolded oh my god how funny would it be if we blindfolded one and they picked out our lures? That'd be so great. Let's go to the hot sauce aisle and I'll blindfold you and you'll pick out a surprise hot sauce. Oh my god. Oh wow, he picked out what we wanted. Great. Secret. We're getting beer, so we might as well use a beer cart. I can't read. What does that say? No ninos in la alcance. Canasta? Shasta? No ninos, son. For those of you guys wondering, we did not go to the same Walmart that did not have alcoholic beverages at it last time. If you guys have been ice fishing before, um, you definitely know you need an alcoholic beverage or two to, just to stay warm. It's, that's all it's for, is to stay warm. You can't get better than that. <laughs> oh yeah, I think you can find it. I showed it to somebody else and they ended up getting it. <laughs> nice. Is this one? That's the one. <laughs> oh, wow. Can I, Dad? <laughs> that's a 2X though, I need like a medium. Well, I mean, look at this one, it says meow, we need cat masks. I don't get it. <laughs> but I think that's so funny, I showed it to this woman, it was with her husband, and she bought it for me. You're a salesman, you should be sponsored by Walmart. I'm actually working. Oh, never mind. Like Seriously, that? how much do you make off one of those? We'll buy one. This one says get blitzed and it's got a beer holder. <laughs> oh. I like that one. <laughs> I don't actually wear medium. <laughs> I, I probably would be better off in like an XL. I got medium, large, green, whatever. We almost have. Do you oh, make these yourself? No, you want to know what was funny? Oh, you mean, I don't know, but you know what was funny? What? It was um, around, around Thanksgiving, they had, or not Thanksgiving, around Halloween, they had one for a man that said, I'm only in it for the booze. Instead of the booze, it was a B O O S, but it meant booze like alcohol. I see what you're saying. Well, thanks for your help. We're gonna go buy some groceries now. Thank you. I mean, I don't even know what to do. Now. You told me that there's no piddly dicking around, but at this point, that's all we're gonna do. <laughs> Well, I don't even know what to say about that. Our, we, we decided we're having a quick trip to Walmart because we want to like, we're only an hour and a half away and it's not even daylight. We want to get up there and get going before it's uh, not prime fishing time. But We've been here for two hours and we learned about sweaters and have hot sauce. We have the full rundown on the sweater selection of the Walmart though, so at least we got that going for us. This is Walmart. the spot. Let's go. We're going. Blackberry brandy is pretty good ice fishing. Ooh, I didn't think about that. It is seven in the morning. Jameson's pretty solid. No, we're not getting fireball. I said yeah. that doesn't even count as whiskey. <laughs> Here we go. Turkey. Now we get to figure out if you can buy whiskey at seven in the morning. All right, we're good. Is that all the supplies we need? Great. All right, we need to actually get supplies now instead of just beer and liquor, Josh. And sweaters. We might need to get a sweater. That lady was a hell of a salesman. She was. Oh, they have the chili ones? This is tradition. Traditional chili wieners in South Dakota. Chili wieners. Yeah, bud. Beauty. Do we want the seasoned? Let's get this one. This one's good stuff. <laughs> oh, dude, I forgot boots. Good thing they have these. I get some slippers. <laughs> My jingle, God. Jingle. Let's uh, go with our sweater. Stink bait. Stink bait while ice fishing? Is that what works? Even catfish. Probably not. I'll get the sprinkles one, and you get the robot. Some probes. How can we almost always forget the most crucial thing? I don't know. We don't need to stay warm or cook. Let's get four. How much insect repellent will we need? I heard they get pretty bad up here when it's frozen. I'd say All right, we were almost out of the Walmart, and Josh was like, we need a snowmobile. I was like, 
We don't need a snowmobile. We got the Batmobile. For 98 bucks, you got something that can pull everything out there. We're fishing some pretty good sized lakes, so I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna need something with some power. I don't feel like walking that far. Throw her in, let's do it. Hey, look at that. A hundred dollars and two cents. Hundred dollar two-day ice fishing survival challenge. Commence. Grab your chub. Chubs uh. They don't have chubs yet. Oh. High hopes. I love it. Those are gonna catch the bigs. It's gonna do it. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. We got the ju 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 juice. Let's catch the ju 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 giants. Coming through. <laughs> Where, is it? Where the hell are we, boy? Narnia. first spot we're drilling a couple holes right now we're, we're just winging to this trip we're, we've never fished any of these areas that we're fishing today um, we've heard these spots are decent so one good thing that I don't usually like to do open water fishing but it is to uh, follow the crowd as you can see there's a, a whole bunch of people fishing here behind us we heard this area was good first ice though ice is only like four to five inches thick it is pretty thin there's actually open water right there and then that whole lake up there a lot of that's open as well so those guys right in that hut are fishing right next to open water I don't know, about 80 yards away it's kind of sketchy but we're gonna drill um, we heard there's some giant giant crappie here potentially some really big walleye there's perch there's a little bit of everything Super freaking jack. Let's get this thing set up. Hopefully we catch some damn fish. Let's go. That'll babe. Dude, what do you got? First fish. Ice fishing. 2036. Do you know how long it took us to catch this damn fish? Walleye. Hell yeah, man. Yes. <laughs> Never give up. Never give up. <laughs> World record. <laughs> so happy though. So happy, dude. I really catch walleye to the ice. We've been struggling all day. Well, we've been driving for 10 hours now. We finally just came to a new lake and caught a fish in 30 seconds. How big did they have to be to keep again? He's kind of small, but... Yeah, we should look. Oh, there's one. There we go. Hooked up. It's good size. Ooh, it's good walleye. Come here, Bob. Yes. Yes. First one of the season. It's not a giant. It's not a giant, but Josh is with the regulations. <laughs> We freaking did it. That's my first wall I've ever actually gotten to the surface on my channel, Josh, in ice fishing. I'd say it's a good sign for things to come in 2018 ice fishing season. Got him. Nice. You bet. Dad took up again. Hook. Ah! Came off. That was bigger for sure. Pretty worried about that camera right now. All right, I'm going to walk back, so I stop thinking about it. All right, real quick, to give you guys some context on what the hell just happened before we get back to the fishing, which actually turned out to be pretty good. Um, so we weren't catching any fish at the lake that we started at, and so we drove two and a half hours north to fish at this lake where we just caught these couple walleye. So we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. But I was feeling a little bit uneasy because right before we packed up to drive north to this lake, I couldn't find my expensive vlogging camera that I use in all my videos. So I had remembered that it was in Porn Stash's ice shanty, which has a, a little compartment underneath, and he had remembered it too. Um, but once we get it folded up, you can't really get into it. So we got back to the truck and I was like, dude, where, do you see my camera? And he's like, yeah, it was in the ice hut. And I was like, yeah, it was in the ice hut. We definitely saw it there. So we were good. We left, we drove two hours north, we get to this lake, and we look through the hut and it's not in there. And so I start to get a little bit nervous and I'm not the type of person that thinks it's cool to brag about having stuff, you know, things aren't that important, but it is very important to me to give you guys the best picture, the best image, video quality as possible. So I do have a pretty substantially expensive camera, lens, microphone, tripod, everything that I use to film with every single day. So we catch these two walleye at this lake and I'm like, well, it must be in the car then. I'll go back to the car and I'll go find it. So I'm gonna go search for it in the car. It's about a half mile walk to the car because it's a big lake, but just for ease of mind, I need to make sure I got it. So I I get back there and I scour the car and it's not there so it's starting to get dark at this point I'm starting to panic I'm trying to figure out what the hell to do realizing that the camera must have bounced out of my sled and that it wasn't in Josh's hut and that it's probably back at the last lake where there's a ton of people laying on the ice somewhere so I'm like 
I only got one thing to do at this point. It's a more expensive camera than pretty much the whole trip is worth to me. So I was like, I gotta drive back. So I drove two hours back all the way to this lake. It was pitch black. I was the only one out on the ice. I'm out there searching with the cell phone flashlight, which by the way, when there's no moonlight, no starlight, no sunlight, no anything light, it's a little bit dark out there and a little bit sketchy on the ice by yourself a half mile out into the lake right next to open water. And unfortunately, I didn't find the freaking camera. So I drove two hours back to where Josh was with the hut set up, with the heater going and everything. Obviously completely dejected, not really a whole lot I could do at this point, uh, but I guess you're gonna have to see what kind of transpired as the trip went on as far as if I could find my camera, if I could get it back, or if it was long gone. Okay, get back to fishing. We caught a bunch of walleye. It's badass though, let's watch it. We're not gonna eat the spoon. Oh, that one did. Oh! <sighs> there we go. Not very big. It doesn't look good. It's a fish. It's way smaller than what I lost, that's for sure. Of course you got hooked. Hey, it's a Walter head. Cool. Got him. Birch? No. Maybe. Smallest walleye in North America. <laughs> There's a friend on there. Yeah, he's a little guy. It's probably in your rod case there is where it's at. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. Next time I see you, be like, oh, I got a new camera. <laughs> what is it? Oh, I got the same one you got. Yeah. You probably got bit off, dude. No, it might not look bad. Ooh, that one crushed it. Not very big. We're allowed eight. Are we? Yep. Four feet. We're gonna get a limit of the ball to heads through the ice. Do I don't know where to put him. I guess I'll go back there. He'll probably stop in the hole. How you doing over there? Catch any? No, I'm not catching any. <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh, that's bigger. Isn't it? Yeah. Yep. It's definitely a better one. Just saying, you're gonna get the big. You got him. You got him, nice snag. What a save. What a save, dude. I thought he was so much bigger, but I just wanted to play him on this pole since I already broke one Dude, on. I got one on me right now, too. Hell yeah, man. I snatched him twice. Dude, you got him twice. Two, <laughs> two hands. That? One hand down. <laughs> that's the best one we've caught in a while. We're not catching giant ones out here, guys, but that's probably, what, 16 inch here? Yeah, ain't bad. No, 15, 15 16. Yeah. Not giants, but it's going to be delicious. I got it something. I do indeed have a fish on. Oh, a little better. Look at that. Freaking choked it, dude. Think you wanted that? Yeah. Where's I mean, my bait? I mean, it's still walleye through the ice. It's we're still not, walleye through the ice. We're not used to that. Anymore. No. Yeah. This is good stuff. I'll take this all day. Especially for my first trip of the year. There's more walleye in this under our hole right now than there is in all of Nebraska, so. Oh, yeah. You got it. I don't think it's big, but. At least you loosened your drag. I sure did. <laughs> Learned my lesson, sort of, kind of. Ooh, that's a better one. It ain't terrible, Josh says. It's the biggest walleye in North America, and it ain't terrible, he says. I might handle him at some point today. He's out of his mind. And he's freaking hooked. He's crazy. This is crazy. Dude, fish. this is a savage fish. It's Josh. Oh my god, dude. Look at the teeth on this fish. This this fish has teeth on it. There's teeth within its mouth. How many babies do you think that fish is eight? That is insane, dude. When I reeled up, did you see how savage it was? It scared all the other fish away. He is such a savage. <laughs> so savage. For those sitting at home wondering what the hell we're using for bait. Well, I'll tell you in two hours when I take it out because the pliers are outside but it, it turned cold so we're, we're just if you're wondering why I'm just handing this toothy critter right here this is what I'm using a little it's called a Swedish pimple for those of you that don't ice fish which is I assume the majority of you because this is stupid and crazy I don't know why anyone does it but uh yeah 
One of the most delicious fish you can possibly eat. Just jiggling it, little wax worm on there. Been using that all night, and for whatever reason, it's the only freaking thing these walleye will eat, and it's the only thing we're catching. We're not catching big perch, we're not catching bluegill, we're not catching bass, pike, nothing. Just walleye. Mostly little ones, but we'll take that. There's actually no length limit on walleye at this lake either, so we're, uh, we're keeping our limit of four per person. They're not tiny ones, they're gonna be delicious, like we talked about. There's clearly a giant population of smaller ones in here, so it's good to kind of thin the herd a little bit, especially when the perch that we would potentially catch, even big ones, they'll probably have smaller fillets than some of those. So we're gonna do that for a little bit longer. We're gonna call it a night. We're gonna cook up some damn walleye in the morning. All right, guys, we decided to get a nice little hotel room for the night. It's uh, it's late. It's like midnight right now, and we woke up at like 2 or 3 in the morning today, so we're, we're kind of feeling it right now. But hey, look at this nice little mess of wall heads we got. These guys aren't very big, but like you said, there was no length limit, and these guys have actually some bigger fillets than probably any of the perch we would have caught in the lake or anything. Now it's time to fillet these guys up and then get to bed. We'll, we'll cook them up in the morning, and you guys will see that. Look at this, though. I mean, that some good-looking walleye. Are these? <laughs> Never seen a Never used a knife before. before. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.